What's going on everybody? I'm about to head out to do a small job for a client. She's got a crepe myrtle, a rose bush, and a pear tree she wants trimmed. Uh, the rose bush is gonna be getting a pretty hard cut. Um, and of course the crepe myrtle is gonna be trimmed back to where it's been trimmed um, the last time. And we're gonna, we're gonna have to look at the pear tree and see what we can do about it. Um, that's something I've never touched, uh, pear trees. But I've got some exciting news. Um, well, I mean, not too exciting. It's um, something that came in the mail. It's a pen and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and of course, this is like some kind of an advertising offer that a company had sent me. Um, the pen is, it's got my name on it. It comes in a nice little, uh, case real soft it's got a stylus on it but we're gonna check it out so there's the pen it's uh it's pretty cool it's pretty simple the stylus i've already messed around with it it's it's a pretty cool pen but um they were offering it as a promotional deal um but they were i guess just selling pens um but I think they were like 59 cents a piece when you ordered a quantity of 50 or more and they were selling 50 to 700 plus um, a one-time fee of $20 or something like that I guess to go ahead and you know print out your uh, your name and, and stuff like that so they could have that on a uh, whatever you call it to mark a pen with. We will see you at the job. And you'll notice that her yard uh, could use a cut. Um, it's There's a lot of zoysia grass in it. Two different types of zoysia actually. Um, <clears throat> but you, you'll notice that the weeds have started to come up and even some fescue and stuff like that is up and it's, uh, it's ready for a cut. Um, I would be cutting that yard today if it hadn't rained off and on the past eight years. Um, that it feels like it has been about eight years now. Um, but it has rained. And the one day where it stops raining, it rains the next day. So yards are just too wet to get a mower out on, especially since the ground's so still, still cold for, for it being winter. Um, so not quite spring yet. So the yards are still soft. Um, we'll say soft. So I am going to get the trailer hooked up and we will catch you there. Bye. Okay, so here's the peach tree we're going to be trimming. Uh, as you can see, there's been several cuts made uh, right up here I guess just to keep from getting onto the neighbor's side so we will follow that rule and keep this tree off the neighbor's side of the fence. Uh, we'll also be clearing out a lot of these limbs. Um, I did a little bit of research on the fruit trees and with peach trees you want to kind of keep them open in the center uh, to allow for more light. Um, more i guess breathing room it would be um but we will also be taking a bunch of these little limbs out um, to clear it up allow some space as you can see uh, there is some grass coming up there's also some wild onions and such but there's some fescue in the mix of all of this zoysia um, there's a lot of fescue over here. I had my brother-in-law grind this stump up for me, um, for the client. And she didn't opt for any kind of seed or anything like that. So, uh, but you can tell the weeds are starting to come up. Some of the fescue's up. Uh, it's time to get this cut. But usually when the summer kicks in, the zoysia uh, I think it's zenith. 
I'm not mistaken on this side and I think that's like a it's a thinner blade so um, correct me if I'm wrong any kind of thin blade maybe Xeon or something like that um, but whenever summer kicks in the zoysia does a good job at drowning out the weeds and it kind of covers up a lot of the fescue um, so I took with some of this stump that was ground up I took some of the chips and I put them in uh, some uneven spots some holes and stuff like that but you can tell this thing is ready for uh, it's ready for some uh, some TLC so we're gonna get a cut on this property probably this week uh, if it dries up enough which I think we got to clear in the next couple of days but I did wind up just bringing the trailer. Here's the rose, rose bush. It's going to be getting a hard cut. Um, probably pretty low. It's going to be dramatic to see the see how that one comes out. And <clears throat> when we first got this property, you can see these stepping stones. Um, the person that was cutting the property wasn't really weeding around them. So I didn't even know the stepping stones were here until my first cut on the property. We were, I was mowing down through here and I saw a stone sticking up and another stone right here and this last one. So I got to, I got off the mower and I started walking up and I could feel the steps. The zoysia grass had pretty much taken it over. So we decided to clear those up and get those stepping stones back and that's something else that needs cleaned up too um, with the first cut but these steps go all the way around here to the back patio here's the crepe myrtle we will be trimming um, of course you can see where previous cuts have been made and that is exactly what I'll do and of course hit these smaller shoots down here to just try and clean it up a little bit. Now she didn't want any kind of bed cleaning or anything like that. Um, so we're just gonna focus on getting this, the peach tree and the rose trimmed back. Okay, so as you can see, I got that thing trimmed down pretty heavily. Um, I started out with the steel HS82Rs uh, just to get some of the crap out of my way to where I could get down and hit it with the pruners. So let's go tackle the crepe myrtle. So as you can see what I'm doing here with this crepe myrtle is I've already cleared out all the undergrowth from underneath it. Um, I'm, t I'm making these cuts right here a little bit above where the previous cuts were on most of these uh, a lot of people call that crepe murder um, we yield pretty good results in our area by cutting them right there I've noticed a lot of people in the area are actually starting to leave several of the center ones for 
I guess it's for higher growth and then cutting the outer pieces for width. Okay, so we got it all trimmed down. One thing I wanted to point out is the previous, um, whoever pruned it previously, you can see they used a chainsaw and that's one thing I don't recommend. Um, get you a nice set of sharp loppers for the cut. Um, as you can see, it cuts some, some pretty thick stuff. Uh, but you get a really clean cut by using the loppers as door chainsaw. It, well, that, it kind of eats away. Um, it's, it's just a, a bad cutting method in my opinion. You leave, you know, little stuff like that and just kind of looks mangled and stuff. As to where using the loppers, you get that nice clean cut. So... We're gonna load this and the rose bush up onto the trailer and then we're gonna tackle the peach tree. I do wanna show y'all a little trick that I, I use uh, quite often whenever I'm doing brush removal um, or have brush to haul off from a job like this. Um, can save you a lot of time at the dump or wherever you plan on dumping it at if it's in your backyard and you're gonna burn it or whatever it may be. <clears throat> Get you a nice little tow rope and what we're gonna do so we're gonna wrap this around a couple of those branches and tie it through and run, leave the branches up here at the front of the trailer and run the, the tow rope to the back. That way, whenever you get to your destination, wherever you're gonna dump, yeah, if it's available, you can tie off to something and pull the trailer forward and therefore it'll pull all the brush off so there you have it just kind of you know run that loop it around some sticks or whatever and since we don't have too much to load up and that stuff's pretty light and the peach tree is going to be pretty light um, and of course these sticks were kind of long so i'll put them at an angle but the majority of the stuff is going to be going right there so as long as you got something underneath it that's pulling it uh, it'll make unloading a breeze so maybe i'll show that to you in a tomorrow's video i've got plans to do a, a video tomorrow um, not gonna spoil it for you but just keep an eye out man those things look good keeping their color too all right <clears throat> finished up got everything loaded up there's the peach tree pruned at the bottom if you remember and i'll walk over there to it uh, just to get it up close so if you'll remember this thing was real bushy down at the bottom <clears throat> got it all cleaned up i've pruned up kind of high got it away from the neighbor's side I uh, got a bunch of the ones that were going over to over her side of the fence. We'll get that little twiggy. Um, cleaned up a lot of this inside stuff um, to provide light towards the center. As you can see, that's where the sun is. Um, to provide more light to this peach tree. So there's still a lot of lot of room for buds so we will see as we maintain this yard through the summer how this tree looks and uh probably get back to you in in a couple months and we'll be taking a look at it and seeing how it looks so um we'll go ahead and conclude the video here uh and headed home and we'll drop this trailer off I've got a client to meet up, a potential client to meet up with, and we're going to take a look at what all she wants done. Um, I don't think it's going to be maintaining a yard, <clears throat> but we'll take a look at it and see. I know she had some bushes she wanted trimmed, some flower beds she wanted prepped, um, possibly some mulch put in. So 
we'll take a look at that but guys i want to thank y'all for watching um thank you for hanging out with me today and looking at that job and like i said i might have a video tomorrow and if i do you'll either find it or get a notification so uh if you're not getting notifications then maybe you should subscribe and uh click that bell and uh hit that like button wagon wheel well all right guys y'all have a great day peace